Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on the equation of a straight line or y equals mx plus c. So this is the second video on this topic and we'll be covering finding the equation of a line through two points. So in this example we have to find the equation of the line that passes through negative 3, 1 and 2, negative 14. And the place we're going to start is by calculating the gradient. So the gradient, if you remember, is the change in y divided by change in x. So we can write this as y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So if you're not sure about this, uh, just check out our video on calculating the gradient. Uh, but otherwise, uh, let's say that this coordinate here, 2, negative 14, is going to be x2, y2, and negative 3, 1 is going to be x1, y1. So uh, y2 minus y1 becomes negative 14 minus 1 and then x2 minus x1 becomes 2 minus minus 3. So if you do these sums negative 14 minus 1 is minus 15 2 minus minus 3 is 2 plus 3 which is 5. So the gradient is negative 15 divided by 5 which is minus 3. So this gradient is our value for m, so m is therefore minus 3. Uh, so this equation that we have at the top, y equals mx plus c, let's now rewrite as y equals minus 3x plus c. Now all we have to do is find the value of c, and to do that we just pick one of our points, so let's go for this one here, negative 3, 1, and we'll substitute that into the expression. So uh, y equals minus 3x plus c, well y now is 1, so 1 equals minus 3 times the x value, which is also minus 3, uh, plus c. So we just have to solve this equation for c now. So 1 equals minus 3 times minus 3, which is 9, plus c. And uh, now all we have to do is subtract the 9 from both sides. So c equals 1 minus 9, which is minus 8. So if we put all this together and our expression at the top, uh, then we can see that the final equation is y equals minus 3x minus 8. If you'd like to practice this topic, uh, then you can go to our online exam, which is available through our revision platform. Uh, if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, uh, and you'll get instant feedback on each and every one of them. So you can keep track of the areas that you need to improve on. Uh, so if you're interested, then you can click the link below. It will take you straight there.